All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. And salutations to the Akim out there laboring of the hopeful elect that's doing this work and truth and sincerity. And pretty much want to add my spiritual two cents in. And, um, you know, the apostle pretty much uh, put up this video. And this is by a... Uh, a uh, individual that's affiliated with uh, Vocab Malone, um, he pretty much uh, had this recording, all right? And this is pretty much at a conference, all right? And it's titled uh, the BTS Discussion Conference um, Attendees at the NAPC uh, UK, which is nothing but a, a, a social service type program that's pretty much... Um, you know, uh, with the 501c, and uh, you know, this is pretty much uh, a organization uh, to pretty much uh, you know, keep that uh, crunch on uh, plantation Christianity, you know, and, and the people that follow it at bay, so to speak, keep them on the plantation, you know. And um, this particular video here, you have an individual that's gonna approach uh, vocab, uh, and uh, he's gonna ask him a question now. We can tell how uh, this truth is pretty much compassing the earth. Now, this is in uh, supposed to be in England now. So now, you know, he's, uh, you know, pretty much on his uh, frequent fly a mile voyage. And it has took him abroad now. So now at this particular conference now, he has this individual ask him a question. Now, the question that he asks is, you have to really, uh, uh, you know, deal with spirit because he's watching uh, Israelite videos, you know, because, uh, you know, he uses the term uh, uh, Jake and, uh, you know, and, you know, vocab being the, the secret disciple himself, you know, okay, he pretty much uh, sums up uh, what, you know, basically the point is that I'm trying to make in this video and, um, and explains it to him. Now, the individual is asking, are there people, you know, he didn't ask it in the right way, but what I took from it was that, are there people that look like Edomites, but are actually Israelites? And the answer is yes. And he actually answered the question correctly. You see, you know, vocab is pretty much a, a secret disciple and there's nothing that he can do against this truth. You see, okay, he thinks that he's really pretty much, uh, you know, on his this crusade to try to stop, you know, uh, the Israelites, so to speak, you know, that's pretty much been his, uh, his bread and butter. You know, he has, uh, you know, used his whole, uh, career pretty much, you know, on this level, you know, so to speak, because now with him, you know, and this is only the videos, the only videos where he really gets, you know, the, uh, reactions and, and pretty much views, is when he's talking about the Hebrew Israelites, man. You know? And the Lord always uses uh, the adversary uh, for some type of advantage. And and pretty much, you know, even when we was building the, uh, the temple, the second temple, you know, the Lord pretty much put the spirit on, on Cyrus, okay, to pretty much uh, uh, give the people, uh, uh, you know, the okay pretty much to build the, the temple. You know, we can go into Xerxes, Xerxes, he, he's, he's done it, okay? When we talk about the, the, the when the Persians were in power, okay? Darius, okay? Darius, the, uh, the, uh, pretty much, he, he uh, pretty much uh, was uh, favorable towards the Israelites, okay? To where we was able to get that temple built, you see? You know, the Lord always uses it. And, and now, you know, pretty much now we're building that third temple, which really is pretty much a, a, a spiritual temple. Okay, it's not going to be a physical one, but we have people that's trying to come up against this truth, though. But pretty much, though, you know, uh, uh, the way it's going for them, it's not working out well for them because you got a lot of people that pretty much are learning that the Israelites through this individual's channel. Now, we're going to play just a little bit of this video and it's probably less than a minute, you know, and uh, 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 we're going to we're going to analyze this. So without any further ado. Yeah. 
white people. Yeah, yeah, the the most most when he said it was done, um, if I remember correctly, he had this, when James White um, showed that those who start to um, become interested in their views and want to try and recapture the event, why they can't become Israelite proper, they can become Jacob. Well, like, usually, well, so usually Hebrews like to use Jake as a slang term for, usually, for a black person who's not aware of their identity. Oh, it's black people, okay. Usually fine. Jake is a, an asleep Israelite. Okay. Because the, here's the play on the word. Before he was named Israel, he was named Jake. Yeah. So when they say Jake, what they mean is the asleep black man. Okay. All right, so I'm, I'm just remembering yeah. the referring to the enemy. But there are camps, there's groups out there who say there's people who could look like an Edomite, but they're actually one of us. And the way we know is by the way they respond. Pretty much that's the point right there. So now you can't really put us in a box now, all right, and try to say, you know, and like I said, we keep on saying this is not a black thing, all right, and uh, pretty much he's summed it up. And, and you know, like I said, you no, know, he knows <laughs> uh, 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 our doctrine, so to speak, okay, and he's basically explaining to this individual, and the individual, of course, he's window shopping, okay. And he's trying to uh, get some type of understanding. He, the guy, he may be a Jake, the individual that asked the question. You know, he may look like an Edomite, though, but he may be a Jake. Okay? You see, because like I said, he he, he talks about how Great Millstone, we, we, this is what we do. We basically know that we were scattered amongst the heathen. You see? Okay? And we're going to come out, all right, by the, by the word of the Holy One. We're going to come out of these places, okay? All right? Uh, throughout the four corners of the earth, you know? That go back to the stock of Jacob, but may look like the other nations, man. You see, okay, and that's all through the scriptures, and that's all that we pretty much are, are, are talk about. Okay, so you know you can't really put a, a great millstone in a box, so to speak, and try to be like this great or uh, uh, race baiter, you know, that you have been. You know, he plays on the mind of the simple, you know, the simple uh, uh, plantation Christianity followers. You know, that pretty much weigh their heart on their sleeve and emotional and, and they hang on to their, uh, you know, their, their Sunday school doctrine, so to speak. Because that's all it really is. Because they don't know anything. You know, these guys just started getting into the scriptures. Okay. And the reason why they get into the scriptures is because we're, we're the ones bringing it out. You see? All right. But real quick. I'll get a scripture real quick. Uh... Let's go to let's go to the book of Acts. This is Acts chapter five, verse twenty-nine, and this is pretty much when they were trying to stop, uh, you know, uh, uh, Peter from pretty much uh, uh, preaching in the name of the Lord. You know, well, pick it up at at uh, the twenty-nine verse. And it says, then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. You can't get around that. Okay, this is pretty much the New Testament. All right. Okay. And to give repentance. Okay. All right. He's uh, to Israel. Okay. I, uh, he's, he's our savior. You see? Okay. Deliverer. It says, and we are his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Spirit, whom the Most High have given to them that obey him. Okay, and this is the thing where, you know, you have to have the eyes soft really to, to understand this, this thing. You know, the spirit is not on vocab to pretty much uh, uh, break these things down. But 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 he what he does know, he knows our doctrine. Okay, he can recite our doctrine like a parrot pretty much. And, you know, his platform is reaching people that, that pretty much where we've been blackballed for all these years. But, you know, like I said, you know, a lot of these platforms... That are reaching, uh, uh, you know, virgin ears, so to speak. Okay? You see? So it, it's pretty much hard to, to, to kick against the pricks, man. You know, or, or kick against the thorns, so to speak. You see? Okay? You know, when Paul tried that, 
you know, and Paul, Paul pretty much was a, 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 a was a, a straight demon to the church uh, uh, before he got converted. You know, when he was running around as as Saul, you see. But that trip to Damascus pretty much uh, uh, changed uh, uh, his his mission, so to speak. Okay, and the, the Lord made him do His will. You see, all right. And uh, I'm gonna read on. It says, um, okay. Uh, 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 it says that that hey, the, the, the apostles and pretty much, you know, what, what Peter was speaking of was that you know they are the witnesses of the things of the Spirit, man, that the Lord Most High have given unto them. You see, and it says, right, when they heard that they were, when they heard that they were cut to the heart, and to took counsel to slay them, and see, like I said, and then you have these people that to this day, we're bringing the the gospel, the good news, and they look to slay us, man. They look to come up against us, man. You see, okay, they there's some somehow some way they they take some type of offense to it, you know. Okay, we're telling them that 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 our uh, salvation is for you. Okay, it's for you, and and they're not accepting it. You see, so it says. Then stood there up one in the council, a Pharisee named Camillo, a doctor of the law, had a reputation among all the people, and commanded to put the apostles forth in a little space, and said unto them. Ye men of Israel, take heed to yourselves what ye intend to do as touching these men. So basically, you know, you want to put hands on, on, on the, men, the, Lord, the men of the Lord. Uh, pretty much you better take heed on, on what it is that you are actually doing. You see? Okay? Because the Lord's word is not going to return unto him void. You see? But it says, <clears throat> before, before, for before these days rose up, uh, 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 Theodos boasted himself to be somebody to whom a number of men, about 400, joined themselves who were slain and all as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to naught. So you got people that's pretty much coming out and, and, and uh, thinking they are somebody, man. This is a perfect example, man, to what that pretty much, that uh, Motley crew of, uh, was uh, uh, pretty much, it came to naught, man. Okay. They thinking they, that they were somebody. You thinking that you're on a, some type of level, man. You know, okay. You know, vocab. His job is to pretty much be the adversary, man. Because why? It's because he is sent. You know, okay. But there's there's there's, there's not no uh, unreasonable uh, 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 way about this truth, okay? That he can see in Great Millstone, okay. He knows that we are the, 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 the top camp, pretty much. You know, he knows that pretty much, you know, other camps pretty much, uh, they do certain things a certain kind of way. He actually goes into that, but we're not going to play all of that. You know what I'm saying? Because pretty much, you know, uh, you know, the other, other camps, they, uh, you know, they get into, you know, you know, they pretty much, they think they're in the kingdom now on this side, you know, and having the Edomites kissing the boot and, 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 and this, and, and, you know, coming with that, the, the, the uh, the, the royal garments and the, you know, and these type of things, man. And then, like I said, there's, there's work to do, man. And we see that the Lord is, is, is the Lord's power in the earth, man. Okay. The Lord always had put our adversaries, okay. Put the spirit upon our adversaries, man, to show favor unto the children of Israel, man. Okay. You know, and, and Dar uh, uh, with Darius, Daniel was shown favor, you know. Okay. You see. All right. And, and pretty much, you know. Uh, <clears throat> our forefathers that pretty much built the, uh, the, the the second temple, man. You see, all right. So Rubabel, okay, was shown favor, okay, in the eyes of, of of Cyrus, man. You know, we can even go back to to, to Pharaoh, man. Was shown favor, uh, uh with uh, with Joseph, man. Okay, to where he put Joseph in second command. But why? It was because to bring forth the forth the will of of the Lord, man, and, and that pretty much to bring all of the all of, all of the sons, okay, into Egypt. All right, for that pretty much, and for us to go through what we went through, to to only just deliver us, man, with a great deliverance. That's pretty much spoken of to this day. You see, but the Lord uses these adversaries, okay, of Israel, to pretty much work to uh, to the uh, the advantage, man. Okay, and it says, <clears throat> right, and after this man rose up, Judas of Galilee, 
in the days of the taxing and drew away much people after him. He also perished and all even as many as obeyed him were dispersed. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of the most high, ye cannot overthrow it, lest happily ye be found even to fight against the most high. And this is what he's finding himself right now is fighting against the spirit, man. Okay. The Lord said, man, he's going to call his sons throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Okay. And the individual that he pretty much that he's talking to, you can't see him on the, on, on the camera, but he pretty much may be a Jake. But you're seeing now, but that they're window shopping, man. It's uh, speaking these, these slang terms, like he said, okay? And Jake just pretty much means of, of anybody of any of, of the tribes that we consider Jake, you know? Okay? You know, that we see that spirit in them and, you know, and, you know, we we make no bones about it, man. You know, we're going to come to looking like the other nations, man, throughout the four corners of the earth, man, as the scripture has said. You see? Okay, so so pretty much, you know, the Lord is is, is uh you know this man is uh pretty much he doesn't know anything that the hell's going on, no. But the only one thing that he does know is that he can recite uh uh like a parrot our doctrine, man. Okay, you know, and then pretty much, man, that that's really you know the, the internet is doing all the heavy heavy lifting, man. So whatever his platform is, is uh uh reaching virgin ears, and it pretty much was on his own page, man. That uh you know. Some people said that they learned the truth through his page. You see? Because he keeps on harping on, 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 on this whole thing. You know? Meanwhile, he's, uh, you know, not even regarding the elephant in the room, man. The Lord said, man, who's going to who's gonna stand up for me against the evildoers, man? Okay? This man is not talking about no type of evildoers that's going on in the earth, man. You know? You know, it's so out of touch. The, Christian, the average Christian is so out of touch with um, reality. Reality, okay, you see, all right, that, that's, a, that's a, a comatose state to be in, man, in these last days, man, you know, and under the premise of they're saved, what are you saved from, okay, who who warned you to flee from the wrath to come, you know, you're trying to enter into the Lord's uh, 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 house, so to speak, you know, within his congregation, you know, and then don't even know what the hell is going on at the end of the day, man. So these Christians are all gone, you know, and uh, pretty much the Lord is using this man, okay, and, and brothers, you know, pretty much uh, uh, stated it that he's pretty much a, a secret disciple, you know, okay, all right, his platform is pretty much reaching the virgin ears of, of, of our people, man, you know, so, you know, he's going to keep on relentlessly trying to come up against this truth, man, but it's going to be to naught, man, you know, all right, so with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rakakudash Shalom.